Good afternoon. I promised this morning that I would come on and show you guys how I make my grilled cheese sandwich. So, first of all, I take a nonstick pan like this. I'll turn it on, say like medium heat. I take my bread, I have two slices of bread. And the bread that I use is the Lewis Healthy Life Keto bread. That's my favorite. Um, you can use any category two approved Shibboleth bread. Um, it doesn't matter. I just like that one. I don't know. Everybody's got their faith. I get my ghee butter. I take a little bit of the ghee and I put it on. I don't, look at this bread, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, I put it on only one side. So I just spread the ghee butter just like that. I don't use a lot, but just enough that that's going to make it that nice grilled look when I'm done. So obviously I've got ghee on this side, so I'll put it down on the counter, non-ghee side, <laughs> down, because I don't want it all over the counter. So i got my second piece, and I'm putting on my ghee butter. And then what I do is I take my... Um, fat-free craft shredded cheese. And I threw my package away. I, I meant to save it so y'all can see, but, <clears throat> excuse me. Instead of using the Borden slices, I prefer the Kraft fat-free mozzarella cheese. And um, I don't know why, I just do. And especially because today, I am gonna take my grilled cheese and I'm gonna cut it Instead of cutting it like in a tri two triangles, I'm gonna cut them into little sticks. So they look like cheese sticks. And my condiment is gonna be pizza sauce. So I'll show you the pizza sauce that I use and how much and everything. But I've just given you like a little example with the mozzarella. I also have, um, if I do the cheese stick, sometimes I'll put crushed red pepper in the cheese, which is awesome. But I looked it up in the food library and you can have up to one cup of this as your category one lean protein. So this is my one. My bread is my two. I'm cooking it with the ghee butter and then my condiment will be the pizza sauce that I'm gonna dip it in. So once I have the pan, this is my Pampered Chef nonstick pan. And no, I don't sell Pampered Chef, but I love their products. I actually saw my friend Jan was watching. <laughs> She's my pampered chef consultant. So anyways, I have my pan and um, I put the ghee side down in my pan. And you can kind of hear it sizzling a little bit. Now the pan, I need a little bit wider pan, but what I try to do is just squish it in there, okay? Now, I also have these Pampered Chef. I showed you these when I made that broccoli rice um, and cheese casserole. They have the measurements on the side. So this is a half a cup. We get up to a cup. But what I did was I wanted to put them in two cups so that I can dump them on each side of the bread. So we want to cook this kind of medium heat because we don't want the bread to get too um, done too quickly. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Okay, well, all right. What's really cool is the cheese that kind of drops in there. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's gonna get like crispy, crunchy. It's really good. So what I do now is I get a top. Uh, this is just off of one of my pasta, you know, where I boil my pasta in, and I stick it on top. And the reason why I do that is so that the, the bread on the bottom can brown and the steam, when I do that, is gonna help the cheese melt. And if it's not completely melted in the end, I'll pop her in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to make sure all that cheese is ooey gooey yummy. So that is um, how I make my grilled cheese sandwich. Now I'm gonna finish this and let y'all watch like how I'm doing it. But I wanted to show you the pizza sauce that I'm gonna use. This is an approved pizza sauce. It is called Cucina Antica. La pizza, and I think I got it at Publix or maybe Whole Foods, but I think they both have it. I have, this is not at Kroger. This is my favorite one, and I always go to Kroger and forget that they don't have it. But a quart, the reason I like it is a quarter cup is only 20 calories. So guess how many calories we get? 50, right? 
So I take my, guess what, my handy dandy paper chef little guy here, and this is a quarter cup, right? That's a half, that's three fourths, that's half, that's a quarter cup right there. It's a tiny bit over, so say it's like 21, 22 calories, but I think that's gonna be plenty for me to dip my four pieces of um, cheese sticks or grilled cheese sticks in. But if not, I know that I can add a little bit more and it'll be okay because I'm definitely under the 50 calories of condiment that I can have. So let's um, check out our, oh, can y'all see it's all melted already? Look, I'm gonna pull it up here. It's starting to get really, really melty, which is good. So once that happens, then I grab my spatula, which was probably also Pampered Chef. Let's see, yes, the Pampered Chef. <laughs> and I just grab it and flip it over on top of this one. Oh boy, y'all, check it out. Look, at see how I told y'all that cheese was gonna get crispy? There y'all know you. Now, it's only browned kind of halfway because of the way that bread was sitting in there, but you can see how golden that is because of the ghee butter. Now, I'm just gonna uh, put the top back on just to let it get a little bit more melted, and then I'll flip it, and then I'll cut it, and I'll show you how I'm gonna eat it. But the second way I love to eat this grilled cheese, now this is what I had this morning because I'm doing the Cheesy Goodness Day on Take That Holidays, or the Cheesy Goodness Square, and this morning I made a grilled cheese and I just cut it the traditional grilled cheese way. Some people cut it that way. I cut it diagonally, so it's like two, two triangles. And I use this dill pickle mustard, y'all. It is so good. And it is one teaspoon is five calories and I had two teaspoons. So I had a one and a two and a condiment, but I only had 10 of those 50 calories of condiment. Cause you know, best, less is best. So I'm flipping it over, it's a little toasty. I like it like that though. And I think it's gonna be good um, like that since I'm using it like cheese sticks. So it'll be like crispier and they'll they'll cut well. So um, yeah, so anyway, I use that dill pickle mustard on that too. On my hamburgers, my sandwiches, I bought some chicken breast to make a wrap or a sandwich with later. I cannot wait. So um, there, that side's prettier <laughs> than my other burnt side. So now what I'm gonna do is I like to check out my grilled cheese to make sure it's all melted. Look at that. Oh yeah, now there's a little bit in there that's not melted. So that's when I'm just gonna pop her right in the microwave for just 10 seconds, just to make sure the cheese in the middle gets ooey and gooey, and I'll make sure my oven's off, my stove top's off. So I'm watching it, y'all can't see it, but I'm watching it. So I'm gonna open it up. She's nice and golden brown. That's how I make my grilled cheese sandwich. And then I take, and I think y'all will be able to watch me do this. I'm obviously not gonna put this cutting board <laughs> on that eye that I just cooked on. So I'm gonna stick it over here and it looks like y'all can see it right there. So I take a knife and instead of cutting it like this, which is how I would do a grilled cheese with dill pickle mustard, I cut it like this. So I make myself four cheese sticks. Look at this, you guys. Oh my word. Yum. And then I have my handy dandy dipper and my pizza sauce. <laughs> I can't believe we eat this and lose weight. I'll tell you what, Travis Martin and Sasha Martin, I love you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna finish eating my, uh, cheese sticks. See how I told y'all when it's a little bit crispier, it like holds better for a cheese stick. So anyway, oh, also tip, I also try to get all that, all that cheese out of there. Even it's a little crunchy, but that's the best part. All right, we'll see you guys later. Have a great day.